Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to be styling my wet hair. It's a little air dried and I'll tell you guys why in a little, um, but we're gonna be using the Revlon, this amazing hair tool that is basically a blow dryer and a brush all in one. Really easy, especially for people like me who I'm literally so lazy to blow dry my hair because I just, I don't do good holding the blow dryer and the brush at the same time. So this is makes it so much easier and it's super affordable and it's one of the random things I bought during the beginning of quarantine when we were all buying random shit. This is one of the things I bought. I put my mom on it, my sister, my mother-in-law, they all love it. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it, the products I use on my hair. A lot of you guys always ask what I use on my hair, what I use to wash my hair, um, the leave-in conditioners I use. So I'm gonna tell you guys all of that during this video. So without further ado, let's start this video. Um, right after I wash my hair, I always put a leave-in conditioner, which I already did. I either go between the Purology Color Fanatic Multitasking Leave-In Spray or the It's a 10 Leave-In Miracle Leave-In product, which is, I've been using this for years. I love both of them. They're really, really good. Sometimes I mix them together, depending on the days. Today I use this one, but it just depends what mood I'm in. And the shampoo and conditioner I wash my hair with is the Suave. You guys know this if you follow me on Instagram. I love it. It's my favorite thing ever. It's obviously not the fancy, expensive salon shampoo and conditioners that I should be using for my color-treated hair, but honestly, it's what works best with my hair. I love it. My hair will naturally air dry pretty straight, um, so I feel like it's just, I don't know, I feel like it's the one that doesn't leave my hair greasy. I've tried the Olaplex. I tried it once because my mom had it. It made my hair feel really heavy and, you know, with a lot of product and grease in it. I just didn't like it, and I always somehow end up back to the suave keratin one it doesn't like leave my hair frizzy like it dries really nice and pretty straight and stuff which is what i like so that's why i've always been using the suave keratin one for years i just love it it's i think like a dollar um obviously i'm not telling you guys that the same way it works on me it's going to do the same to you i'm not sure because everyone has different hair types but it's what works best for me it's my favorite one and yeah that's what I use on my hair. I don't do anything. I don't take any besides multivitamins, you know, women's multivitamins from Oli that I take. But other than that, I don't take any hair supplements, anything like that. My hair has always been pretty full and long and stuff. And I, again, I honestly just think it's genetics. I love to brush my hair. As you can see, I have so much hair on this. With the wet brush, it's amazing. It detangles my hair. And there's a little tip I do when I use the Revlon hot tool so I like to let my hair air dry a little bit so what I do is I make myself lunch or I just did glam right now and just so my hair can air dry a little because I feel like when my hair is not soaking wet but not dry it's like right in between the brush works faster and better so this is what I basically do I split my hair in half and then I get this half of my head first and I split it in half and I start blow drying this section first and then the other half. It's really, really quick, you're gonna see. So I ask for long layers also when I do my hair and I'll talk a little bit more about my long layers and how I ask for my cut at the end of the video so you guys can fully see how my layers look. Use the lowest setting if you want. I can use the lowest setting, but because I want this to be a little quicker, I'm gonna use the highest setting. So you have off, cool, low, and high. And you basically just go like this to the barrel depending where you want it, so. Really, really, really easy to use, and I'm gonna go ahead and do this section first. Um, I divide each section in halves, so I'm gonna do like this half first, and then we'll move on to the next one. Basically, I already did this little section right here, this little piece, and I'm gonna move on to this one, which has already pretty gotten pretty dry because of the heat from the first section I did. Um, so as you can see, most of the time, I was bringing it up to my root and just letting it sit there so the heat kind of dries my roots, um, and that helps with like your hair to not get super frizzy and stuff. So I focused it in the root a lot in the beginning and even during the whole process, and then at the end is when I focus more on my root, on my ends sorry and what I do with my ends is I basically just like flip it inwards towards me and just brush it through flip it inwards brush it through until I kind of get to like the middle of my hair 
and I let it sit there for a little bit just so it can kind of get more of like a little curl at the end like so. Okay, so we have piece that, well, half of our half side done. Um, and this is what it looks like, so you guys can see it. You see how it dries? Super quick and easy, I think that took me less than five minutes. We're gonna move on to this half, and then we're gonna do half of this half, just like we do with this one. You kinda get the gist, but once I finish this top piece, I'll go ahead and just basically brush everything together. This is the most important piece because it's the front of our hair. So again, I'm gonna keep it on high and we're just gonna keep blow drying the same way we've been doing this whole time. Basically, when I finish, I grab every single piece from this side and just brush it all together because I feel like it helps. Don't worry about the bangs because at the end, I'm gonna show you guys what I do with my bangs to get more volume so it's not just flat straight. Right now, we're just blow drying and then later, we're gonna come back to the bangs. So you guys can see this is the blow dried side. So you can see the ends are nice and flared and you can see all the layers. Now that we just finished this side, I'm gonna go off camera and finish this section and then come back for the final uh, touch-ups with the bangs and stuff and you guys will see how easy it is. Okay, so we just did my whole head. Ignore the fact that one side of my hair looks like it has more layers. The lady who cut my hair didn't do such a great job. Um, I kind of had to go back in and cut my bangs myself because everything about my haircut this time was super uneven. It looks like I went to the salon. I love it. It's super quick and easy. My ends feel super, super soft. And basically this is how it looks like. You can stop here if you want, but I go in and just give my bangs a little oomph and I'm gonna show you how I do that right now. Now I'm just gonna go get my bangs. I get them like from here down. I get the brush, I put it on high, and I'm gonna be curling it in, and then I'll show you guys how it looks like towards the end. All right guys, so now for the reveal. Okay, do you see that? Now I'm gonna bring all my hair to the front so you guys can see. What a difference it makes when I do this to my bangs because they have like a little bit more volume and if you want you can go in with like, oops, you can go in with like texture spray or hairspray to kind of get them to stay like this. They end up falling throughout the day obviously because I have again very, very fine, fine hair but it's okay with me. I'll just, when I need to touch up, I'll go back and blow dry because I'm not a big hairspray person but you can definitely go in with hairspray. I don't use it on the highest setting. I put it on the lowest setting. Um, because the heat near my face burns me so and I love how it comes out my hair looks like I just went to the salon This took me less than 20 minutes super fast super easy and basically this is how my hair looks And that's it affordable if you guys are looking for a good Christmas gift ask your partner for this because This is amazing if you're a type of person blow dries your hair all the time every time you finish washing it and obviously because of the, the pandemic and everything We're not out here doing our hair every two weeks or something um this is good for the time being to do it yourself at home. It's easy, it's quick. Again, very affordable. You can get it at Target, you can get it anywhere. I'll link it down below. Also for my haircut, again, I mentioned to you guys, I get long layers and I cut my bangs right below my chin. It's basically what I do. Um, I don't like it to look choppy. I get long layers in a V shape uh, from the back and that's basically how I like my haircut. Uh, this time, it, wasn't done the best way again, but 
it is what it is. If you're looking to get your hair done, I feel like the lay the, the long layers are super in right now. Everyone's doing them. So so yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me using the Revlon um, brush. I love it so much. It is literally my ride or die. I will never use a blow dryer and a brush again. I hope you guys love it as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.